here's Jack. <laughs> Jack, I'm afraid, is um he's had another episode. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Um little bit worrying. Not the old episode, a new one. Dahlia's here to stay. She's got a very bad cold. Well, she's getting over a very bad cold. But I had to show you her at breakfast with those things in her hair. <laughs> oh, there she goes. She's got the same... She's, I'll show you when she's all dressed up. Actually, you look really well now compared to last night. She looked so ill. I refused to let us go out. Well, after Jack's episode and Dahlia's terrible cold... We stayed in sensibly Hello, and, and missed Sarah Pascal. Jack's being fed. Um, I thought I'd start with little Jack begging for food um, and Dahlia sitting at breakfast. She arrived with a streaming cold. She said she'd had it all week, but she didn't stop sneezing and coughing for three days. So I was a little bit pissed off, to say the least. I've been feeling very run down. I hope I'm not catching it. I don't think I am. Is that Jack? No. Um, anyway, uh, so I thought I'd open with that. Um, but I wanted to tell you... Did I say welcome to another vlog? I hope I did. I wanted to tell you about um, Little Jack and Tox the Fox. Um, Badish news, Jack... Do you know, I think he looks in my diary... Because it was six weeks before I was due to Australia when he had the last episode. Well, it's now six weeks, more or less, before I go to Australia for the second time of trying. And he had a funny turn um, the day that Dahlia arrived, before she arrived. Uh, we just went for our normal walk. And he was as right as rain. And he suddenly collapsed in the garden and couldn't get up again. It was like Bambi on the ice, all his legs were going like this and he couldn't get and he was like uh, uh, trying to get up so I lifted him up can you imagine my panic and then took him indoors and then he did it again so I quickly bunged um a big dose of CBD oil down him followed by his medication painkiller for emergencies Loxicom um and he was very quiet that day he was very quiet on Sunday as well um, apart from his walk, which he always loves. Um, and then by Monday, right as rain. Absolutely right as rain. Anyway, obviously I took him to the vet. I did it on Monday. If he'd done it, had another attack, I would have gone emergency. But he, um, we took him to the vet and the vet said, it's very important for all of you dog owners because we all treat them like our babies and get terribly upset when they're not well he said look you must realize that it's not upsetting jack to have these turns it's distressing you it is not distressing the dog um which it wasn't you know he's a dog he's not going to lie there and go oh my god i get up oh my god what's gone wrong um he just gets on with it as they all do we could learn lessons from that so the vet said don't worry about it um obviously i have to tell trudy his dog sitter and warn her and tell her all of this and if it keeps happening don't know what anyway he said he's got to lose weight that will affect his panting. He is panting a lot more. Um, he checked his heart. All fine. I mean, he could have a brain tumour for all I know. But at 16, nearly a half, 16 and a half, you know, what, what can you do? Anyway, he's as right as rain and has been just completely normal ever since. I think he sleeps a bit more. Um, but hey, he's a very old dog. And... Well, I can't remember when you'll see it. You might see it in a minute. But he's so furious that Socks is back that he's um, guarding his bowl, um, which you'll see in a sec. Anyway, good news on Socks. She's now visiting every night between 6.30 and 7 on the dot, starving hungry, feet are downstairs, very difficult to film because it's dark, um, gobbled her food up last night, and then rush straight back to her cubs because she's had her cubs. So I will film that for you when I can. She's lovely and slim without being thin. She looks like the utter picture of health. And what a good mummy. So I reckon she's really near, probably over the fence in my 
neighbour's garden because he hasn't done his back garden in about three years. So I bet you she's in there in his greenhouse or nearby in a little den. And all she has to do is leap over the fence. Hello, Susie, I'm back. Please give me chicken. Give me anything. I've got to get back to those carbs. They're exhausting me. So all very exciting and I'll bring you more when I can. But I'm so happy to see her again. And I must feed her up till the end of April because then I won't be here for nearly a month. Right, on with the show and I'll pop back when I have something else to tell you. I'm sorry if it is a bit shorter than normal. I know I say this every week, but the weather's been so shit. There isn't an awful lot I've been able to film and I haven't got anything extra. Oh, I'll stick in all my Instagram um, bits and pieces for you and then I don't have to show you what I'm wearing because it will look much better on the Instagram video. Um, so I'll pop those in for you at some point. I'll do it at the end. Okay, on with the show. We're in the pub now. We've walked Jack. Yeah, he can't. Um, he seems all right. He's gone to tea. Not interested in the food. So a bit of a worry. Anyway, I am just realised you probably can't hear me because of the music. And YouTube will probably block this because of the music. Let me show you how much better Dahlia looks. Oh, no. And what we're eating for lunch. Look, we're having beer, battered fish and chips. How are you feeling, darling? Much better, thank you. Thanks to mummy, Susie. She's been looking after me. Does I look after you well? Yes. I'm so glad to hear that. Poor Dahlia. What with the dog and Dahlia? Oh. It's a bit of a quiet weekend. Mm. Sorry, got the hat on again. We've just left the pub. Um... Oh, Dahlia's gone, but I'll show you in a minute um, how much food we left, because it was battered. Sorry about my eyes. It was beer battered, but it was very greasy. Fish was delicious, though. So we've got a huge bag, doggy bag for socks, the fox and little Jack, who um, seems as right as rain now. He's had to sleep in the pub. Anyway, there's a little... Art gallery open, my favourite subject, photography. So we're in here having a look on a, yet another very cold, well, not so cold, but very damp, wet, grey Sunday. That's Jack panting in the background. That's lovely. Look at that. We're at the Grange in Rottingdean. And that's the pub we've just been in. These are amazing. All different artists. Love this tree. Look at the size of our doggy bag. <laughs> and they all said the fox is going to have a good meal. I think Jack will as well. Look, look at him. He's desperate for food. What's that, Jack? He knows I've got the food. And look, for those who don't know, look at Jack. He's very happy today. Um, Rudyard Kipling lived and wrote in Rottingdean. He got fed up with the tourists going on open-top buses to stare into his house. So things... Ha and taking photos. Things haven't changed, have they? Hello, Mr Kipling. I gather you had to leave because it was all too much with the tourists. Anyway, isn't this lovely museum? So this is called the Grange in Rottingdean for anyone who's um, visiting this area, especially Brighton. We're still in Brighton, even though we're in this lovely old village. Now, where's Dahlia? Jack doesn't like us being split up. Oh, is that Victoria? That looks like Victoria and her doggy. 
Right, I really like this artist that Dahlia knew all about because her friends got pictures of his as well. But he's called William Nicholson. And I love them. Look what he's done with the alphabet. Right, there he is. And he's done little pictures for the entire alphabet. And that's Jack panting. And round the corner, Dahlia's promised to take me to her friend's house because apparently he's got these all the way up his stairs. There you go. So that's as far as we've got with the alphabet. But round here, this is my very favourite. And immediately I said, that's Victoria. And that's Jack and Dahlia. And Jack is behaving like this because of the food. Yes, he likes me. <laughs> he <laughs> loves it. He won't leave you alone. Look, watch. Watch this, everybody. Watch. Look, Jack. I'm following you. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't care about me at all. No. Hang on a minute. Right, got you now. <laughs> Jack, you're such a pig. I wish everyone could have seen him <laughs> with his turned up ears earlier. And we've just discovered that William Nicholson lived in this house. I'm a new fan. So this is the Grange in Rottingdean. I'll bring you round the gardens in the summer because they are award winning. So after that fish and chips meal, you saw the size of the leftover bag. Um, and after our walk and the museum, um, Socks came in for her food as usual and I filled the whole bowl with all of it. I couldn't give Jack much because it's fried and the vet said he's got to lose weight and also have to be really careful of pancreatitis. So Jack got a bit of white fish and that was it. Socks had the lot, chips and all. She left the chips. She's such a cheeky mare. I didn't know they didn't like chips. I thought they ate anything. It's fussy, fussy this one. So no food waste, I'm glad to report. There she is. Have you had your babies? Have you had your babies? You don't look as fat, do you? Oh, what's that there? That appears to be chicken. Did you leave chicken, darling? Did you leave chicken? She's still pregnant, isn't she? So on the Monday, we had a very exciting trip to Hove because Dahlia had loads of clothes that she was trying to, well, not loads of clothes, loads of shoes and handbags. And I had a few clothes. So we went to my favorite shop, pre-loved and, um, put in what we could, not a lot. They're, they're quite fussy at the moment. Dahlia's handbags and heels, she kept holding up these very high heels and the lady just kept going, no, no, because nobody wears shoes like that anymore. Um, bless her. So she had a bit of a wasted boot full of stuff, but they took some of her clothes. So hopefully they'll sell them all right. And um, I don't know if they've taken mine. I just left it for the owner, but... Oh my God, right. Well, first of all, I'm going to show you around the shop and I had to put it to music because they had music very loudly. So I had to put my own on because of copyright. But also straight after that, you will see what I bought. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled with it. So see you in a bit.
hear me. But look at that sea. Dahlia's last day, we've come out for lunch near Eternal. And here's Dahlia and Jack. And we're going to Rockwater. Dahlia! Look at this gorgeous food we're having. Talia, tell them what we're eating. Potato cake. Lobster potato cake and prawn cocktail. How, how, <laughs> And look at that sea out there. It is so rough. Look at that. Commercial break for clothes. Um, just showing you, I have a pre loved new purchase. Um, but first of all, I thought I'd show you this because this is um, something I got very cheaply at HM last year. And this was from Mango last year. These are ancient, ancient my biker trousers that I know you've seen before, and I'm wearing them with the black and white from oh my goodness my brain Russell and Bromley right um, I'll put them all briefly below but what I had to share with you oh Jack's not making an appearance today I desperately needed a very smart black winter autumn spring coat look what I found Burberry originally eight hundred pounds to me to anyone who could have got it before me 200 and bear in mind that i get money for my clothes from there so actually it cost me very very little um i do try and spend there when i'm collecting money but often there isn't anything i need let alone want, but look at this for the continuing cold. Of course, it's milder today, so I'll probably take the little vestie off. And I'm sorry I haven't got red lipstick on, but I'm going to the dentist and he hates lipstick, food in your teeth, you know, all the usual. Um, so look at this, how gorgeous is this? Because I'm so sick of that gold coat. This is around the wrong way for me. I'm left-handed, sort of. And if it's really, really cold or wet, up it goes. What do you think? I'm, I know it's black and it's boring, but it's a gorgeous design, isn't it? I mean, look at the little details. So, girls, go to your best, poshest area for pre-loved. And you get things like this. Why would anybody get rid of this? Maybe it got too small. It is quite snug with all these clothes on underneath. Be perfect for spring though, because I might try it today. Yes, it's quite warm. Well, seven degrees, it's hardly warm, is it? But I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to wear it open and when it gets chilly, um, put that on, but maybe take it off at the dentist. And I'm going to my club for, um, do you know, I can't remember. It's some sort of Mexican thing at five o'clock. So I'll be eating on my way home um, and seeing what's what. Anyway, yes, so I hope you like. I'm very, very, very happy. Smart as anything. It'd be great for London. Um, I'm doing an overnight at the end of the month. Did I tell you? Oh, you'll be so excited. It's, I, I'm sure I told you this. I get a free bedroom well, a free anything. You get 500 quid's worth of points to spend as a new member. Um, but then they told me I had to use them up before the end of March. Anyway, they gave me an extra few weeks. So I'm spending my points, apart from eating and drinking there, on one night in their Soho um, house club, um, somewhere in Soho. There are several. Uh, I obviously cannot film, but I will film from the outside and I will film my bedroom. Because, not that bedroom that I'll get, but 
That is where Harry and Meghan, for those who haven't read the book, um, started their romance. That's where she always stayed. So I'm super excited. And I'm having a facial that day and I'll be meeting my brother. I don't know why I'm telling you this now. It's a couple of weeks. Till, but this month's flying, isn't it? February and March have just flown by. And soon I'll be going to Australia. Right. So that's it, my lovelies. I'm going to leave you with what I've done on Instagram this week because so many of you don't follow me on Instagram. So that's great. So maybe it won't be too short a vlog, but I'll see you next week with whatever's going on in my life next week. Okay, my lovelies, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to do the thumbs up that, and don't forget to hit the bell and then you'll be notified when I'm back here. Our followers are growing slowly, but the views are not, um, are going down. So is it because you're all really busy? Um, anyway, I do hope more of you get to watch and you pass me on to your friends. And yes, I will try and see Joe in a couple of weeks. Um, those who know who I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about. Okay, on with the rest of the show. Bye-bye, see you next week. Take care, big love. Thank you.